What's going on, everyone? Today, we're going to be watching and reacting to American Horror Story Season 4, Episode 7, which is titled Test of Strength, which that title makes me think of Dell because he's the whole strongman guy. Apologies for not having this episode out sooner. I know it's been almost a week since the last one, but I've just been very busy these past few days, so it's been hard to find a good time to fit in American Horror Story. And I wanted to finish Fallout because I, I felt like I didn't want to get spoiled from that show, so I really wanted to get through Fallout as fast as possible. But now we're done with that show, so time to jump back into American Horror Story. And last episode, I mean, last few episodes in general, just there's a lot of interesting things going on. Uh, last episode, Jimmy showed up to Dandy's house and is he's looking for the girls. They are there, obviously. I wonder what Dandy's going to do. I wonder if he's going to try to kill him or Jimmy's going to try to find out or is he even going to even gonna keep it a secret. Maybe he's just going to show it off They're like, oh, yeah, we bought him. So, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. I don't know. But I can't wait to see. So let's jump right into this. If you want to see the full cut reaction, that'll be my Patreon link. That will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Bed and daughter are prisoners. They're our guests. Literally seconds into the episode, they answer my question. <laughs> when the girls first stepped foot in our house, they were malnourished, both body and soul. A daily regimen of vitamins and foie gras brought the pink back to their pallor. I know this seems like the life of Riley now, but trust me, this is no place for you. Because to them, you're nothing more than a curiosity. That is true. So what do you want us to do? Go back to the show? Well, how is that any different? Because you'd have a whole community of people to protect you. Why would we harm a hair on their heads? Uh, Dandy has a lot of bad intentions, so... <laughs> Jimmy, you told us you saved those kids from the killer clown. It was Dandy. It was really neither of you, but... Uh, well, no, they... I would say Jimmy did help quite a bit, but <laughs> neither of them killed the clown. I've always wondered how this trick was done, haven't you? Oh wait, he's putting it together. Dad? Oh yeah, he's he's realizing Dandy's no. was the was that guy. He's putting it together. You're thinking of getting surgery, which I'll never allow. Cause you never cut a girl in half, would you, Dandy? Stop <laughs> trying. How do you know, Dandy? Cause he read her journal. I told you there will be no secrets between us. You read my diary. I want to leave. She can't leave without Bet. We're in love. There's something wrong with Dandy and you know it. Yep. I'm sorry. But I choose my sister. Oh, wow. Dandy's not going to allow that, though. He's going to find a way to get them back. <laughs> He's going to go on a killing spree, I'm telling you. Oh, hell yes. I love this song. But it's a little weird because they place in the 50s before the song existed. So that means Jimmy invented this song <laughs> in this universe. This is Evan Peters singing this? I think so. Yeah, he's doing damn good. Never fall in love with a hustler. It's my advice. Oh my God. Yo, she said one thing. Was he there because he was spying on Dell, or was he just there by coincidence? Do you honestly believe that I would allow you to zap the energy of the audience, huh? Remember to whom you speak. I know exactly who I'm talking to. Damn. I'm glad he's calling her out. What is this? The twins, Elsa. We know what you did with the twins. They ran off! I told you that. Yeah, we heard your story. Maybe it's time we heard theirs. <laughs> you sold them off like pets. That's not quite how it happened, actually. What are you doing? Keep it buttoned. I know what I'm what? doing. What? What is she doing? It's true Miss Elsa took us to Dandy Mott, but only because I asked her to. But you said that, that- You misunderstood. I guess that's a lie. I wonder why she's sticking up for Elsa? We wanted to experience the finer things in life. Elsa I'm, on, I'm trying to think why she's doing this. Good doctor's gonna fix me up right as rain. What does the phrase right as rain mean? Well, what's so right about rain? Close for business. Oh, yeah. Well, they'll destroy that man's hands. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about how that would affect Ethel, too. Not just Desiree. It's also going to affect Ethel now because that was the one doctor that was actually willing to help her. Where's Dr. Bonham? He's dead. Oh, no. God damn. What happened to him? You killed him. Why? His very existence challenged his beliefs in God and science. So before he blew his brains out, he took a oh hammer and smashed both God. of his hands. The hands of a surgeon. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, because obviously Dell didn't kill him, but Dell did that to his hands, and I guess he killed himself because of it. I keep trying with this thing. I can't even get it halfway up. I feel like a damn fairy. Hey, don't be cute, buddy. I'm in the mood to hurt someone today. Trust me, you don't want it to be you. What's the matter? You can't actually get it up? Damn. That was a phrase that could mean two different things. Say, what do you say we go get a drink and you, uh, you tell me your trick? I know this place a couple of towns over called, uh, High Noon. I saw you there today. <laughs> what is he trying to get out of Dell? Maybe he's trying to get Dell to help him. You have the three qualities I love in a person. One, you lack a moral code. Two, you can kill a man <laughs> you with your bare hands. And three, well, I mean, this guy lacks one, too. Say, or I'm going to make sure this whole place knows that you have someone else's shit under your fingernails. Oh, I'm going to kill you. Not now you won't. Maggie saw us come in here. And not later. Oh, damn. I like to aim for the jewels. Kind of my signature shot. The screams of a man who'd been nut shot are so specific. <laughs> Came here to make a deal, right? He wants Dell to help him capture someone, I'm assuming. I need one of your freaks. Dead. Yep. I weep from your sudden sentimentality. <laughs> I feel like he's actually gonna do it. I wonder who he's gonna choose, though. Who's he going to? Oh shit, Eve? Why, out of all people, he chose Eve? Trying to get with me. Damn. <laughs> nice. Oh. oh. <laughs> nice. He failed pretty hard there. <laughs> Who's the strong man now? <laughs> God damn. Dell got the shit kicked out of him. And all I can think about is his grubby hands all over me. They gotta kick him out of the camp at this point, right? He must be out of his mind. We gotta get our facts straight so when we go to the cops... Cops? They're not gonna go to the cops. You of all people saying that. That was our problem. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna sneak into his trailer, kill him. What? Damn. Whoa, whoa. I know what he's capable of, and you don't. Jesus, Mom. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to them doing that, to be honest. <laughs> oh, goodness guarantees you. Is an early grave. Damn. She's especially feeling this way after the doctor getting killed or killed himself. Hope that the world will right itself, that the just will be rewarded and the wicked punished. Oh, once you buy into that horseshit, you're dead in the water. The only way to survive in this disgusting, godforsaken world, you gotta take control. The thing is, though, you can't control everything, you know? So. I don't know, but I see what she's saying. I'll kick his ass to the curb. I'll tell him to get the hell out of here. Never come back. Trust me. You won't leave, though, or he'll come back and hurt someone else. You handle him, or we will. <laughs> what do you girls want in exchange for that charming tale about my kindness? I want to become a comedian like Eve oh. Arden. Oh, and I want caviar for breakfast. <laughs> and I want to dye my hair blonde. And 20. And 20% 20 of the box office? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, well, Dot wants money uh, for the surgery. Does she really think that Elsa's just going to give that up easily, though? In fact, I think we should take 50% of the box office. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so she'll tell Jimmy and the others what actually happened if she doesn't, I guess. What are you, a mama's boy? What? We're supposed to have a man to man. Well, men drink. That a boy. She can say whatever she wants. Look at her, look at me. Who got the worst of it? It doesn't matter who's telling the truth. Those gals are gonna mess you up. You got, cause you got your ass kicked. That was your... <laughs> little by little, he's showing who he, he really is out in the public. Yeah, but it's worth it to be able to be out here in the world, living a life, talking to girls. I guess it, it would be nice not to have to wear them. Give me the gloves. I can't tell if Dell is like actually bonding with him here. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. You got nothing to be ashamed of. If anyone looks at you funny, I'll break their skulls. Because <laughs> in the, the day, it still is his son. I mean, obviously Jimmy doesn't know that yet, but. 
Unless it's a girl, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame Dell's is a terrible person, though, but this is a genuine bonding moment between them, at the very least. I don't feel good. I think I gotta go. Ew, ew, I don't need to see that. No, Dell, you can't have that bonding moment with your son and then kill him. Like, that that's that's insane. Well, he is insane, so I, I guess it's not too far-fetched. I know who you are. He really thought about it for a second. I always know. Wait, really? Just the way Ma hates you tells me everything I need to know. Wait, he's but always known? I got known? proof. I asked so many old-timers, the ones that have been around since Methuselah was a kid. Wait, what? They told me about your dad and your brothers. The famous Toledo Lobster Clan. I don't know why you don't caught him. Oh, he does know it. You gave me these. Shit. He did. He knew this whole time. But I want to hear you say it. You're my father. Wow. Come on, say it, Dad. You're my dad. Please, come on, answer, answer me. Come on. Yes, son. It's true. And he was just about to kill him. Or at the very least, knock him out and take his hands. Holy shit, that might have been some of the best acting from Evan Peters I've seen. Let's get you home. That, I think it's one of my, the best scenes in the, sh in the show. Have you heard about the big strong man? <laughs> it's such a shame he's awful though. <laughs> Otherwise this would be all nice and touching, you know? He's my son. Oh shit. I wouldn't go through with that, did you, Desi? But I'm proud to admit it. Yeah, but you, you, you didn't, you wouldn't have said it if he didn't know already. Did everyone know already? Like, I don't know. No more bossing us around, okay? We got two strong bullets here ready to run this whole joint. He, he's, he's, he's drunk. He's, he, he's, he's, he's too drunk right now. <laughs> I hope he doesn't bring Jimmy down with him. I, this is just one case. I mean, he's just, he's just drunk, you know? Hopefully when he's sober, he'll be normal, you know? Good dad. Damn. I wonder if this could make Dell change a little. I just don't see it happening, but we'll see. You never know. Again, I, I've said this so many times in this show, like characters that try to get redemption arcs, like certain people, it's just really hard for them to change based on who they are. But like, there's, I think there's always a potential. It's just hard, you know? You are my blood. But if you do something to shame me, to shame this family, I will do whatever it takes to make sure no one ever knows you belong to me. God damn, how can you be so heartless? Prepare for the shaming of your life because I am in love with Paul and I'm gonna go live with him and his kind and I'm gonna tell anybody that will listen to me who I am and who my daddy is and that I chose to be one of the outcasts because anything is better than living with the evil that lives in this house. I know I can't stop you. I'm not a murderer. But I didn't you invite my friend could Morris be. over to give you a proper send off. Who the hell is Morris? Morris is an artist. Why? What do you mean proper send off? I bear a striking resemblance to Eve Arden. I, I like this that they have different hairs now. It was always easy to tell them apart regardless, but you know, it's just cool to have a completely different look. Let me know if there's anything else you might want. What is that? My dear Dot. Oh, a note. You hardly said a word during our negotiation. <laughs> Why do they have her face just over there? <laughs> what would you want with the money? A bigger tent. Ah, it's pretty obvious what she wants with the money. Just tell me your heart's desire. You can trust me to help you. I wouldn't trust her. Yes, I want something. There's a doctor in Chicago who separated the Brody twins. Now they have her face over there. <laughs> I want you to help me find him and convince him to perform the surgery. Poor Betty, man. If, if Dot goes through with it, I feel like Dot's not going to go through with it, but we'll see. And she's waking up. Oh, they knocked her out? I want to see the look on her face. The fuck's wrong with this guy? A lot is wrong with him. Straight up psychopath. I had it forked. <laughs> what the fuck? This show, like, shows us the worst of the worst. Like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen worse people in a show before. I guess that's why they call it American Horror Story. You know, that that's where the horror comes from. But that's just, it's just the truth. What I want to do is have you locate this doctor 
And then we could send them up to Chicago. They will be out of my life. And then he's gonna take them before they get sent to Chicago and take them for himself. Something like that'll probably happen. Perhaps rather than some medical calamity, which they believe is gonna relieve them of their psychic pain, something more simple and less public. Life holds too much pain and tragedy for those poor girls. Wouldn't it be a better solution if they could be quietly and easily relieved of their misery? A mercy killing. Good thing Ethel's here in this. Well, that's quite a solution, huh? I have heard about managers who would kill for their clients. Looks like I found one. Hmm? Dangerous duo right there. Shit. He's gonna take her. Is he? I can wait to try it on. Is he just being nice? I don't know. <laughs> There's no way he changed that quickly. He's, he's gonna do something. Gorgeous. Like a little princess. Thank you. I don't know, man. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! I'm sorry. That was one of the most gruesome deaths I, I've ever seen in the show. Because it was just so like... Oh, god damn, bro. It's so terrible. It's just like one of the most like, innocent souls in this, in this entire season. What's going on? Oh, that's that girl. I forget her name. Penny. Penny, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Damn. This is my fault. Oh. What have I done? <laughs> that's terrible. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Is Ma Petit already going to be there? A most rare specimen. And it's, it's Ma Petit. While it did cost a pretty penny, oh, we trust that this God. new exhibit Mahadevi Patel. Yep. The smallest woman in the world. That is so fucked up. Dude, this show is dark as hell, man. Like, there's just so much just fucking terrible shit happening. Oh, man. All right. I really like the character of Dell. Not from, I don't like him as a person. Obviously, I, th I think his character is very well written. There's a lot of layers to him, but, you know, inevitably he is an awful person and um this episode we see this other side of him this fatherly side of him he clearly didn't want to be a father really but he was starting to see some of the good feelings that that could bring by having someone you care about someone that cares about you as well and someone that you created but like at the end of the day he's just going to use it for his own gains he's going to use it to try to get some sympathy points from other people because he's like oh i have a kid i have a kid here who loves me cares about me so like he's going to feel better about himself he's not he doesn't he doesn't care about jimmy in a way where it's like a normal you know sort of love that a father would have for a son it's more of a like selfish love where it's like okay i'm this person is going to see me as a better person just because i'm the one who created him and brought him into this world but I don't know, just what they were doing with him here. The fact that I genuinely believed he was going to start to change, uh, just to be completely proven wrong when he just decides to kill Ma Petit. But that was really well done. Um, There's a lot of good scenes in this episode between like them, him, him and Jimmy specifically. But then you also go to a great scene with Ethel, just just her scene of just she was in tears talking about how like you really can't have hope you know, in this world and there's just no point of having it. And it's going to actually lead you to your demise. Most likely if you have too much of it, that was really well written. And yeah, I, uh, I really enjoyed this and even more stuff with dot and Betty. Obviously it seems like dot wants to try and, uh, do the surgery, but chances are else else is just going to do something that, you know, helps out her helps, uh, helps out Spencer helps, you know, it, she's not going to do something genuinely out of the good of her heart for dot or Betty. It's good. It's going to, whatever benefits her, and whatever that ends up being, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I honestly don't think, regardless of if they actually get sent to the surgeon, I don't think Dot's going to go through with it in the end. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be my Patreon. Links that will be in the description. Peace out, everyone.